Hello everyone, I Professor Anish Vora welcome you all in this video lecture. In this video lecture, we will study about oscillator. Let us define oscillator and essential condition for the oscillator. Oscillator is an electronic circuit with the help of which alternating waveform oscillations is generated. We have oscillator that is uh, an amplifier and output we are getting that is a VO and that is a sinusoidal output waveform with certain frequency and sustained oscillations. It requires DC power for biasing purpose. So we have output available. It is nothing but an amplifier with positive feedback. No input signal is required. To make an oscillator, we require only an amplifier and positive feedback. There is no need of input signal, only biasing voltage required. We require sustained oscillations. If energy equal to loss is externally supplied at every oscillations, there is no decrease in output voltage and sustained oscillations are produced. Because there is no any input signal, we give biasing voltage only and during each oscillation so we have certain amount of energy loss. So if we externally supply that much of energy, then we always have a sustained oscillations. So we can see the sustained oscillations. The magnitude of the output voltage remain constant. Now let us see amplifier and positive feedback in more detail. We have an amplifier which is having a gain that is A. We give input signal that is a voltage V and as per the gain we get output signal that is a product of gain and input signal that is A dot V. Then we prepare a feedback path. Feedback factor is considered beta and we provide positive feedback to the input. And the output of the feedback that is a feedback signal that is a beta dot av we have taken sample from the output and output we know that it is a, a dot v so feedback signal is a beta dot a dot v as we have seen here this is our feedback signal which we are giving to the input now let us consider it as a positive feedback so total gain that can be given by mathematical expression that is AF. So A is total gain and that can be written as A divided by 1 minus A dot beta. A dot beta it is known as a loop gain and for loop gain we have three different conditions. Now let us see again an amplifier with positive feedback but for the loop gain that is a, a dot beta now we will do the analysis for each condition if value of loop gain a dot beta is less than 1 output voltage decrease with time as 
we know the expression for the total gain that is uh, af is equal to a divided by 1 minus a dot beta so if a dot beta is less than 1 then output to voltage decrease with time we can see in the waveform also so output voltage goes on decreasing when loop gain that is a dot beta is less than 1 if value of loop gain a dot beta is greater than 1 output voltage increase with time let us see the waveform output voltage goes on increasing and the third condition is but if value of loop gain a dot beta is equal to 1 meaning is total gain af that is a divided by 1 minus a beta now a beta is exactly equal to 1 so 1 minus 1 that is 0 so it comes to a divided by 0 and that is infinite so total gain now it is infinite and meaning is there is output even if there is no input and that is what we exactly require in case of oscillator without input there should be output and sustained oscillations we can see in the waveform the output remain constant so it is a sustained oscillations and the condition is a beta is equal to 1 value of output voltage remain constant and sustained oscillations are produced the condition a dot beta is equal to 1 is known as Barks condition and that is a one of the very essential condition for the oscillator and for the sustained oscillations now let us see the requirement of the oscillation active device we know that uh, it works as an amplifier so active device like a transistor or affinity is required power supply we do not require any input signal but for the biasing of the active device power supply is required frequency determining network we have a passive component like L and C and that decide the frequency so to determine the frequency of oscillations the network is required positive feedback is again one of the essential condition initially the value of loop gain a beta should be greater than 1 but once the oscillation start the essential condition for the sustained oscillation that is a a beta is equal to 1 so this is all about uh, oscillator and sustained oscillations thank you for watching my video keep watching thank you very much